This is the JSOX mod case. JSOX's answer to Dbrand's Project Kill Switch. Yes, this is primarily a case for your Steam Deck, but it's also an accessory framework. What could I possibly mean by that though? Well, it's all in the name. Laid out is every accessory JSOX has made for the mod case. You've got the docking station, the cooling fan, the M.2 enclosure, and most importantly, the case. So why don't we go ahead and unbox the case? The unboxing experience is standard fare. It's nothing too special, but it's nothing that bad either. So let's take a look at the case itself. This is the case itself. You slip it over top of your Steam Deck. It's also got a front cover as well, but all the magic happens in the back. It's got a permanently attached kickstand as well as a place to slot your accessories. Once you pop the hood though, you see instructions on how to slip the case on. Uh, you know what? I won't be needing these instructions. Be sure to peel the sticker off when you're done reading it. The magic happens in the back right here. This peg is the entire accessory framework. Specially designed accessories can slide right into this peg, and this peg will keep it in place. Friction fitted, if you will. Take a look at it in action. See, you just take this accessory and you slide it in like that, and it's locked in place. It's tight enough to where it's not gonna accidentally get loose. And it's not too bad to get out. It requires a bit of force, which is a good thing. It makes it more secure. This case also comes with a kickstand built in. It doesn't interfere with events either. Unlike the kill switch, this kickstand is permanently affixed to the case. You can never remove it. You can also adjust it at multiple different angles. It's a fairly simple yet robust kickstand design. It's not all sunshine and rainbows though. JSOX also includes an adapter to fit over top of your Valve Steam Deck, you know, the official one. It was more of a pain than I thought it would be, to be honest, but at the end of the day, I did it. This adapter also makes the dock slightly bigger, allowing for decks with cases to fit. But in the case of the mod case, there's an extra problem associated with this kickstand right here. See, it won't fit snugly if you try to center it. But if you pop out the kickstand before you put it on the dock, it just works. It just fits. It's not a major design flaw by any stretch of the imagination, and you could have it on the dock off kilter a tiny bit. But it is ultimately still a negative. I do like that this case has a cutout for the Valve Steam Deck dock, meaning you don't need a tiny extension like Dbrand's Project Kill Switch does to dock the Steam Deck properly. Let's talk about the front cover. This front cover covers up your Steam Deck when not in use. Just slap the front cover on and stuff it in your backpack and you're done. But just like Dbrand's Kill Switch, you can't actually fit this inside your main Steam Deck case if you put the front cover on. Of course, once you slip the front cover off, you can stick it inside your default Steam Deck case. The USB port is exposed, meaning you can plug this into charge. The only issue with this and also Dbrand's kill switch is that the vent is totally covered, meaning you shouldn't really try to dock this while you have the front cover on. Also, unlike the kill switch, you have access to the volume buttons, which is cool I guess, but you probably shouldn't be using the Steam Deck with this cover on, you know? Inside here is also this wrist strap looking thing. Do you really need a wrist strap to play your Steam Deck? Unfortunately, it's not that kind of wrist strap. You slide this into the slot of the case, and you can use it to slot whatever accessory you want. Let's take this battery for example. This is the biggest battery bank I own, and this is definitely not airplane legal. I think it exceeds the TSA requirements. After a bit of fiddling, you can actually see that the case itself supports the weight of this thing. Technically, you can use this to mount whatever you want. Kind of rudimentary, but still very smart. You're also expected to use a strap to mount another Steam Deck accessory that JSOC sent over. That's right, this NVMe SSD enclosure. This enclosure fits a full-sized SSD. It also comes with a special USB cable. One side is USB-C, and the other side is USB-C or USB-A so it's super convenient to use between your PC and your Steam Deck. My number one issue with this accessory is that there's no official way to mount it. You have to use the strap, and using the strap horizontally or vertically doesn't work. Trying to do it horizontally makes it too loose. The strap doesn't tighten that tightly. The official way you're supposed to do it is like this, vertically. But this strap is nowhere near long enough. Like seriously, I can't mount the official M.2 accessory onto my mod case. And that's a crying shame, really. The only remedy I can think of is to either redo the strap and make it longer, or potentially redesign the enclosure to have a locking mechanism. The next accessory I'd like to talk about is the dock. That's right, it comes with a dockable dock, so to speak. You attach this to the back of your mod case. It's got your usual suspects, two USB 3 ports, a USB 2 port, 
a display port, an HDMI port, and of course, two USB Type-C cables, one to the Steam Deck and the other to your power. Interestingly enough, this dock also includes a micro SD card slot, and I can confirm the dock works. The only issue I have is with this right angle USB port. They should have made the adapter go out perpendicular as opposed to parallel, because now you either have to block the vents or block the power button. All I can say is, JSOX, if you're issuing these right angle adapters, you should make it go out perpendicular as opposed to vertically. So until that happens, I won't be using an adapter. And of course, last but not least, the fan. You clip it over top of your vents and you turn the fan on. This fan is battery powered. This is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because it doesn't draw from your Steam Deck's power. Thankfully, JSOX had the foresight to include this USB-C plug. That's right, this fan charges using USB-C. And as we all know, USB-C is of the future. The dial also controls how fast your fan goes. It does spew out the hot air from your Steam Deck but the question is whether or not it's worth it. And for some, it may not be worth it. The mod case itself is very solid. On its own, it's a very solid case. The texture on the back feels nice and grippy. The front cover does protect the Steam Deck while it's in your backpack. And I also like the fact that this case has a cutout in the back. I also like the fact that JSOX launched this with a bunch of different accessories as well, some of which are very useful, such as the external SSD caddy or the slidable dock. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows here, unfortunately. A lot of my issues with the mod case have more to do with how the accessories are designed. The SSD caddy was apparently made for the mod case, yet it requires the strap. And furthermore, the strap doesn't even seem to fit the SSD caddy properly. So while it is very useful, it is a bog standard M.2 caddy. They should either make the strap longer or have the M.2 caddy have its own built-in docking mechanism, kind of like the other accessories in this list. This can easily be remedied though, as the whole mod case accessory framework is a resounding success. If you like high-tech lowlife, you should check out the rest of my channel. And if you like the rest of my channel, you should like, subscribe, and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. Furthermore, we have a community Discord server. There's a link in the description down below. Check us out.